pirated. I think this person beat Anna recently. Like, like a few minutes ago. <laughs> uh, I think they're in chat. Good luck. Oh, this is 5-4. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have accepted this. Because this game could take a while. Okay, this will probably be the last game before I hop on call. Thank you, Glad Rap. Maybe I should have played this. I don't know. No, uh, I like blocking the D pawn. Let's play. Uh, should probably develop the bishop. Someone purchased her an MQ chessboard lightweight hoodie oh, nice. black for thirty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. Thank you, someone. So this is a very typical opening. I've had similar versions of this over the course of my duck chess career. This move actually looks really interesting. Knight f4 and then duck f3. So putting a lot of pressure against the bishop. We might see like bishop b5 and duck e2. Bishop d3. Inclined to like queen d5. So now I have to make sure my bishop isn't taken. And why has to make sure the queen isn't Lucky lost? To be alive while all this duck theory is being yeah. created. <laughs> and it's important to be grateful. Welcome back to Gandriata. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, attacking potential here. Ooh. I think that's a mistake. But how? Okay, so I'm going to play knight h3. This is a given. Now it's a question where to put the duck, because I can block h1, g1, or uh, h1 or g2. But I think the best square is actually... Wait a minute, I could take the queen too. But I think I'm winning the queen regardless after this move. And essentially what's going to happen, the king will have to move to this diagonal, and the duck will be double pinned to the king and the queen. And then consequently, white will have to lose a queen. So that's a really nice quactic. <laughs> yeah, oh no, white's queen. That's just a free queen too. And then I'll play... I actually don't know where to put the duck. What's my next move? Or what's white's next move? Duck f3. Preventing the knight from coming back. I am losing this knight, but I think it's okay. Because now something like... Queen h5, and then duck g2. It's almost duck mate. <laughs> the duck's going to have to go to h4 next move. But it can be very tricky to finish off games in duck chess. Okay, now g5. Get the g-pawn rolling. And maybe... Maybe this again? Idea g4. Yeah, I have to play this. So g2 is still a nice square because I'm taking away the knight move and the king move. But not that king move. So let's play this. Wait, what? Why can't I move? Can I do something? Also, it looks like my e-pawn is like off pixel. Do people see this? Like the e-pawn is... That's so weird. Wait, let me refresh. Okay, that was really weird. The <laughs> Epon just re was refusing to move. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. There is no duck in the way, unless there was an invisible duck. Oh, fix it with glue. Yeah, when in doubt, I should buy some glue. 
Okay, so the plan is to try and attack the... Oh, I should have played Queen H... Queen H4 legal? No, the duck was on H-file. Okay, this is duck mate. Queen H4, duck G2. And the reason why... No, it's not duck mate. White, white can escape this. <laughs> it's really close to duck mate. Yeah, king here and... Ah. Okay, let's play this and then duck G2. So I'm still targeting the king. The king will have to move here. It's a very powerful concept in duck chess to um, put the duck on a square where you know the opponent will have to move it away from that square. So I'm going to do this again with this and this. It's really close to duck mate. And yeah, there you should really be a term for this, like duck check. There's also the concept of like duck zugzwang, where the opponent has to self self destruct by moving the duck. Self deduct. I want to play f5. It's actually really frustrating. That's queen side castle. Prime e duck. Oh, can I get a castle made in duck chess? Maybe I won't queen side castle. But. I think that's easy. Let's let's just play rook d8, preserving kingside castling, and then I'll move the duck. Um, maybe here, preventing the bishop from developing. So this is a threat, and this is a threat, and the duck cannot stop both threats. Ooh, that's fancy. So I can play this, and then duck d7, ensuring my king is safe. What if we see king e5, duck f4? I should really throw in c6 if I get a chance. Or free king. Okay. Yeah, it's possible just to hang the king in this game. That was a fun game. I should also note, like, one fun fact after... Oh, I guess it doesn't really apply to this position. But let's say my opponent played this, and then let's say like this. If I wanted to, I could castle kingside. There's actually no official like concept of check in this game. Even though there's a concept of attacking the king, um, the way castling works is you, you can castle when in check, you can castle through check. You can even castle into check, but that's usually not a good idea. So... Anyway, um, thanks for the game. Also, thanks for the, the rating points. <laughs>